in the previous lecture we calculated the vector potential of a current surface current carrying spherical shell where the current density k was given as k sin theta phi unit vector which I can write as k sin theta sin phi in the minus x direction plus k sin theta cosine phi in the y direction. And we came across an integral like integral sin theta sin phi over r minus r and let me again write r as a function of theta prime and phi prime this should also be prime here d s prime and I claim that this was equal to 4 pi by 3 r cubed over r square sin theta sin phi for r greater than r and is equal to 4 pi by 3 r sin theta sin phi for r less than or equal to r and likewise for cosine term. I want to show how this integral can be evaluated using the knowledge of electrostatics and potentials there. For this we look for a charge distribution or surface charge distribution since I am integrating over a surface I look for a surface charge distribution that has this dependence over theta and phi and that is very easy to find. Let us take a sphere with a constant polarization p in the x direction. And I can take it in the y direction, I will get some other dependence. So, I will just start with the x direction dependence. Then I know that outside the electrostatic potential is equal to that of a dipole or point dipole of magnitude p is equal to or the point dipole p vector equals 4 pi by 3 r cubed p in the x direction at the center of the sphere. So, that is fact number 1. Fact number 2 is that rho bound which is given as minus divergence of p is 0. However, there is a sigma bound which is going to be p dot n which in this case is p dot r unit vector. So, I take p which is p x dot r which gives me p x dot r is nothing but sin theta cosine phi. So, the potential outside in this case is due to this sigma bound which has a dependence sin theta cosine phi and potential inside is that corresponding to a uniform field right. So, let us write that also potential inside the shell or inside the sphere is that for a uniform field. Therefore, I can write for outside I have V of R which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 integration sigma bound at R prime which now happens to be the surface divided by R vector this should be R vector minus R vector which is on the surface which is a function of theta prime and phi prime 
d s prime. Let me remind you d s prime is an integration over this surface my vector is r here and r is the vector where I am calculating. So, r is somewhere r which is depends on theta and phi r unit vector r capital R is theta prime and phi prime. But this I this is equal to then 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 integration p sin theta prime cosine of phi prime divided by modulus r minus r theta prime phi prime d s prime. This is the potential, but I also know this is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 p dot r unit vector over r square all right and p is in the x direction. So, this becomes 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 4 pi by 3 r cubed capital P times sin theta cosine phi divided by r square that is the potential. Let us now cancel certain terms you will see that P cancels from both sides all right 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 cancels from both sides and what I am left with then is that integral sin of theta prime cosine of phi prime over r minus r which is a function of theta prime phi prime d s prime is equal to 4 pi by 3 r cubed over r square sin theta cosine of phi what about inside? So, this is strictly valid for I must point out this is r for greater than or equal to r because we have taken this, this expression for the potential which is valid for this region. So, now we go for inside inside I have a uniform field inside there is a uniform field. if the polarization p is in this direction and what is the value of this field? The value of this field E is nothing but minus p over 3 epsilon 0 is in the negative x direction and therefore, the potential V r is nothing but plus p over 3 epsilon 0 x. I take its derivative with respect to x that means, if I take its gradient it gives me a electric field going in the negative x direction, which I can write as p over 3 epsilon 0 r sin theta cosine of phi plus there could be an inconsequential constant, but the dependence on sin theta and cosine phi which really matters for calculating the fields is like this. And this should also be again equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 integration sigma bound which is p sin theta prime cosine of phi prime over r minus capital R which is a function of theta prime phi prime d s prime. Again let us cancel terms this p cancels from both sides this epsilon 0 cancels from both sides and what you are left with is then that integration sin theta prime cosine phi prime over r minus r theta prime phi prime d s prime is equal to 4 pi by 3 r sin theta cosine phi plus c, where c will be determined by what is the discontinuity at the surface and if you want to make the v continuous then c will be determined by that, but the dependence on theta and phi comes through this r c sin theta cosine phi. What about the other integrals? 
Now, if I want to evaluate the integral sin theta prime sin phi prime over r minus r, which is a function of theta prime phi prime d s prime, what would I do? I would take this sphere and have a polarization p, which is in the direction y. So, that again curl of p is 0. So, rho bound is 0, but sigma bound is going to be p dot n coming out of the surface, which is p dot r, which is p y dot r and this becomes p sin theta prime sin phi prime. So, if I calculate the integrals corresponding to this and equate them to p dot r over r square, I will get the integral answers for integrals for this. So, I can always find these situations where an integral corresponds to a particular expression for potential in the electrostatic case and therefore, I can directly write what my answer should be. More of these integrals I will give you in your assignment.